time for the niceties. Hold, seeker. Have you come to swear yourself to Shares by my paw? Mother of cats, feline of felicity, the only deity one should ever swear fealty to in these nine lives. Now, will you heed our mother's call and bolster her as she crushes the heathen absolute beneath her divine paw? Shares shall mourn your absence, but always honor your capriciousness as her own. May your dusks be long and your hunger fleeting. Yes, and no, your kind has lost their way in their worship of the feline of felicity. You only hold to her basest tenets. Now, will you heed our mother's call and bolster her as she crushes the heathen absolute beneath her divine paw? Yes, yes! Together we shall spread the word of the wonder in her every poor step. I will sing her name in the streets, and you will bring her prayers to those suffering two legs instead of four. It was another day in the City of Lies, Baldur's Gate, where the people begged for justice until they starved. Two heroes were fated to cross paths that day. Their eyes met. Destiny was calling. Strangers? Only in a fool's definition of the word, it was the start of something incredible. Two heroes on the hunt for justice, no matter the cost. All the Tall One had to do was say yes. The Tall One had passed the first test. The second would come when they were ready. And not before. When would they be ready? Only the Tall One and Fate truly knew. Upon their return, the Cat couldn't help but wonder whether the Tall One had finally decided how their die would be cast. Name and rank! Quickly now! There's a war on! At ease! At ease! I am Commander Lightfeather, leader of the finest aerial communication regiment this side of the Chionza! State your purpose, Groundwalker! I don't have all day. Because we deliver communications across dangerous enemy territory with only our superior wits and aerial agility to protect us. Uh, even our skills have their limits. We've lost several experienced flyers recently. Uh, they knew the risks, but still... damn shame. Intelligence is in short supply, but we know our enemies flanked us on the west side, not one rooftop away. We're avoiding the whole area. I won't lose one more beak to the blighter. If you pass that way, beware the sign of the featherless wings. From that rooftop, none return. Name and rank! Quickly now, there's a war on! The absolute poppycock! Enemy propaganda designed to confuse simple minds! <laughs> Not your fault you fell for it. <laughs> you need a strong leader like myself to see the wood under the trees. I am Commander Lightfeather, leader of the finest aerial communication regiment this side of the Chionza! State your purpose, Groundwalker. I don't have all day. Oh, damn. 
damned awful business. Fine fires, a lot of them. Gone without a trace. Intelligence is in short supply, but we know our enemies flanked us on the west side. Not one rooftop away. We're avoiding the whole area. I won't lose one more beak to the blighter. If you pass that way, beware the sign of the featherless wings. From that rooftop, none return. Leave me be, Groundwalker. I've reports to prepare. You'll want to watch out for the enemy's observation posts, of course. Tallest point around these parts. It used to make a bloody awful racket, but it's fallen silent. <laughs> no doubt our enemy has claimed the territory. I can be social if I must. I've no need of a wing man. Commander Lightfeather will give you your briefing. <laughs> a little wet under the wing for our unit. The commander will soon straighten you out. Pigeons are very sensitive. They can't fly straight if they're disturbed. Feel my way. <laughs> Hunger. My stomach screams. Press your flesh through bars. And blood breaks. from hunger's lust. Forgive me. I was close to killing you, killing everyone. I am ashamed. The circus is my family. They rescued me when I was but a youngling. They did not starve me. The other did. He wore the face of dribbles, or the scent of a stranger. He taunted me, waving bloodied rags under my nose. My mind was worn from the hunger. Thank you for calming me before I hurt my family. May you and your family have full bellies and a warm place to rest always. Be well. <laughs> 